This right here is the future of G-Wagon. Okay, well, at first, you can see it's a G-Wagon, right? Like, yep. even though it's electric, it looks like your G-Wagon. We've got yeah. the indicators, we've got the beautiful round lights, yeah. but the grill. Yep. No more chrome. No more intakes. No more intakes. It's just no got need. Gl glass, a digital display. Look at the side strip. I mean, the side strip is sick. This is my favorite part of the car. And it goes white and blue. Up here, we got a roof rack. Ooh. But what's cool about the roof rack is that from the front, you got a little daytime running light in white. On the back, you got another light in red. Once you get up to the top and actually get an aerial view of it, there's a beautiful clean stamp of a G. And what's super cool that this car has, so there's something called a tank turn. Yeah. Where tanks actually do the 360. Yep, it can do that. It can do that, but they called it a G turn. Oh yeah. Wow. So on the inside, what you have is the same exact interior as the newest G-Wagon. It's exactly the same. So what's interesting is with other EQ models, they have the hyper screen, but on this one, they don't. They actually kept the OG Mercedes G-Wagon screen. What I noticed is the carbon fiber. Yeah, it's like silver. It is. It's uh, it actually, it's a little bit weird, but it matches the white. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. All right, put it to drive. All right, and we're off. I can see the Mercedes people panicking. Our <laughs> only EQG. It's so silent. It's so strange to be driving a G-Wagon and it's this silent. This is freaking sick! <laughs> This is the sexiest, most environmentally friendly car in the world. Check this out. So it's all closed off, right? And that reduces drag as well. They've actually made this open like see-through so that you can see the rose gold coils. Just one of a thousand elements to reduce weight is it has a magnesium wheel. All right, just one. This is the back right here. Now, it does something very cool. Check this out. It has an active aero diffuser, so it actually comes out when the car goes about 50 kilometers an hour or over. And again, that is to further reduce the drag. On the roof, love this. You can see the little panels here. This is one big solar panel roof. It goes all the way over here. So you've got a radiator up in here. It's actually on an angle so that the air comes straight through here hits that radiator, cools for the air conditioning, and comes out here. That's where the air escapes. You've also got this angle here where the air comes through and straight over the wheels like that and out through here. Oh, look at this. The interior, you guys. How nice is this? So sleek. Guys, check this out.
Look at that rear light strip. They actually also have a light projection that projects turn signals onto the floor to let other drivers know that you're turning. Super cool. I've never seen that anywhere else. You have more projectors hidden underneath this black panel right here. It'll project a customized message on the ground, anything you want it to be. Like uh, hit that like button, for example. Door. There's no door handles, right? Just do this. A little bit of hocus pocus. Opens automatically. This is the Audi A6 e-tron Avant concept. The daytime running lights doing that little dance. Look at how intricate it looks, you know, when you, when you look at it up close. You have these kind of triangles just glowing sequentially. Looks, looks awesome. If you're parked in front of a wall, you can literally project a video game onto the wall and play video games from inside the car, which is, again, something I've never seen before. Black tones just for decoration. Looks really cool. And the Audi rings are illuminated, which is always a plus in my books. I want to talk about this side because the right side of this car has a bunch of features that the left side doesn't. Underneath this black panel, what you have are all these warning signs for pedestrians or even for bicyclists. So there's a bicyclist coming through and you're about to open the door. It'll give them a warning. Got to see this, ready? Wait for it. There's a little wing on the roof. How freaking cool is that? All right, round here. There's a secret button here and you've got to push the front of it. Look, look how that's embedded. Ready? Door goes out. Now you have wings on the top of your car. How cool is this? This is the brand new Buick Wildcat. And I'm going to show you the coolest features. Look at this, look at these tail lights, how they go all the way up the back of the rear windscreen. I have never seen that before. I absolutely love that. Another favorite feature of mine, check out these wheels. Look at this, how freaking cool do they look? 18 spoke, 22 inch wheels. I love the way that these light up as you approach the car and when you lock the car. We're going to show you that in the shade just to show you how special that light sequence is. Love. Let's see the interior. So again we push here and la 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 la. The interior is revealed and I've been told I'm the only person outside of GM to be allowed to sit in this and actually drive it. It's just so much space because of course this is an EV now, right? So you don't need all of this kind of center block between you and the passenger seat. So this is all open and this is floating. And then all of this here is floating as well, you see? You can put your hand behind here. There's all this space here in the back. And then here you've got this beautiful center console stretching all the way from the front into the back there. And then these seats, as you can see here, these are like floating. Do you see that? Everything in the interior is about floating. Sounds quite cool, doesn't it? Listen to that. Hey, hey. <laughs> oh, look at this. How cool does this look? And look at all these lights here in the center console. All of this lights up. Oh, I love concept cars. Why can't they just come to life? Look at this, look at this, look at this. Bam, there we are.
this right here is the LFA successor. There are a few design features that you will recognize from the LFA. Here, it kind of goes up like this, straight down and across, and you've got this triangle form, just like in the LFA, right, in the headlights. But of course, it's fully like updated and modern. You'll remember on the hood, there were like two little air vents here. Now, instead of having two up here, they've got two air outlets. You've got these 20 inch wheels here in the front and you've got 21 in the back. So it kind of leans forward, right? And then you've got the center lock wheels. Now this is for racing. It's like what you see the car come in, comes into the pit lane. So it comes off really, really quickly. You'll see this is kind of a sloping back. This is very different from the original LFA. The original LFA was kind of like had a high back and it kind of went straight down, but this is more sloping. The design of this car needs to be a little bit different to the LFA because of course this is fully electric. So a lot of it needs to be designed around the aerodynamics. Look, this little double bubble roof. Look at this. And this is of course so you can fit your helmet. So it's going to be a two-seater car. I'm joking, you don't need to wear a helmet. This car is going to be road legal, but it's cool how they have these kind of race car elements. Very, very cool. Check this out, guys. Oh man, get in here. I'm gonna give you guys a little sneak peek. Take a look at this interior. All right, anyways, we'll get back to that later. I'm gonna press this Cadillac badge right here to bring this down. This is the Cadillac of the future, but it's coming pretty soon. It's called the Celestic. My favorite part of the back are these huge taillights on the sides. I mean, when have you ever seen this on a car? All right, let's go over to the side right there. Nothing suspicious, right? But if I press this, boom, you get your charging port. And what I love about this is you have this little guided light just to kind of help you out. You have all of these lines going on underneath this glass panel. It looks amazing. And when you walk up to the car, you get this kind of light dance. You see how the lights stack up on the sides? That is sick. So how do you open them? Right here, you have this little touch button, the shape of a line, just press that. And there you go. You are welcomed into the back of your brand new Cadillac. All right, take a look at that. How beautiful does this interior look, man? I mean, this is just have all this red with the red stitching as well, all in like an arrow shape going to the front. Everything that looks wood is wood. You see that right there? So this thing has five different HD LED screens. Two of them are on the back of the seats right here. This is touch screen, but you can also control your climate with this little toggle right here. And this also has the Cadillac goddess. All right, going over to the front, same deal. Press that in. And there you go. That is your driver's seat. And take a look at that steering wheel. Wrapped in leather, you have the piano black finish as well. Now, the craziest part of the front is you have a 55 inch uninterrupted glass display, which will show you everything. It's from your gauge cluster to your infotainment system. On the inside, what you also have is this really nice little red rug. Very minimalistic, but looks very sleek, very clean. This right here is a huge AC vent, also very elegantly incorporated in there. These guys just made it happen and it looks great. I mean, yeah, again. This glass panel is insane. When you look backwards, I mean, do you see this? This is crazy. You have all of this and it goes all the way to the trunk of the car. Guys, this is your new steering wheel. Look at this and check this out. This is the brand new Lincoln L100. Look. The light goes all the way from the front, wraps around the side of the car. Look at this, a continuous line all the way around. Look how long this car is, six meters long. It keeps going, keeps going around the back. Come check this out. How beautiful is this? And then around here, all the way around. These wheels, so cool. So what this does is 
This shows you the state of charging. This is a fully electric vehicle of the future. Look at this. And Greyhound set like an art piece behind the glass. <laughs> Look at this. So <laughs> it's like the car is giving you a hug. Now, the first thing you're going to see is the floor of the car. Look at this. The whole floor is a screen the whole way back. So it kind of wraps you in whatever atmosphere you feel like being wrapped in in the moment. Come on in, come on in. It feels weird actually putting your feet on screens. When do you ever put your feet on screens? Like sit like standing on a TV screen. You can pop this here. Okay. That's, oh, look. Did you see that? Did you see that? I picked this up and I'm like, right, I want to go to my first destination. And I just pull that forward. Watch. And it's like, right, I'm going to take you there. So then you put the car back here and off you go. And it takes you to where you want to go. Now in the back, let me show you. Look at this. Just look how easy it is to get in here. I'm literally just standing in the back. But the cooler thing is this transforms. Check this out. Because it's an autonomous car, obviously you don't need a driver, right? So the people in the front can sit towards the passengers in the back and now you've got this kind of wraparound lounge effect, which I think is pretty cool. Ooh. <laughs> Here we go, look at that. Check this out. First thing you'll notice, no wheels. Instead, what you have are spheres. Basically, it has some sort of electronic system where depending on where you turn, the spheres turn with you. Pretty futuristic, but on the real thing, obviously what you have are normal wheels covered with like three dimensional kind of caps. Take a look at the back. It looks like a it looks like an alien spaceship, man. When I saw this for the first time, I was speechless. I mean, I can't believe that this is actually a real thing. All right, you ready to see the coolest thing ever? Look at this, look at this. <laughs> Check this out. How freaking crazy is that? So first off, you've got the bucket seats, nice leather with the Audi logo up there. But check out the steering wheel. I mean, come on, this is, this is awesome. I mean, this is like a spaceship kind of steering wheel. You know, you got the yoke shape, nothing on the top. You have some like buttons out here to shoot some, shoot some robots, some disobedient robots. And if we lift this up, oh yeah. Have a bunch of different switches. These are all the lights. Now everything comes to life. You see that red light up here. I now have like a bit of a gauge cluster. This thing, at least the real thing, is stick shift. And you see there's no stick? I got it right here. <laughs> I got to just connect this up like that. Pop it on there. All right, there it is. So now that I got this, I have my clutch there. I got to just put this in first like that. Let's try this thing. Check this out, look. This thing's heavy, man. Around here. Ta-da! And this 
slides in here. This is the toolbox for your off-road Maybach. How crazy is this car, you guys? Just look at these taillights, come on. With the Maybach logo here, lit up. And then you've got the roll cage here. Look at this. So you've got this contrast between the pinstripes, the luxury pinstripes that you see on a Maybach. And then you've got these massive headlights. You know, the spotlights here at the front and then the spotlights up here and then the massive roll cage above the car, which is cool. When do you ever see that? Roll cages are normally kind of hidden inside, uh, inside the car, but this one's just like, you know what? We're gonna whack it on top, whack some spotlights up there and look how long this bonnet is and it's all full of solar panels. How freaking cool is this design, you guys? Okay, it's just very industrial looking. Like, look at this. They're not mucking around. You've also got these. Look at these little drawers. <laughs> it looks like you dressed in drawers at home. That is so weird. I've never seen that before. Now here, when have you ever seen a seat like this? I mean, just look at it. It's, I don't even know how to describe this thing. Is it a suitcase? Is it like sausages rolled up? Now here, look, you've got your emergency. When have you ever seen the Maybach logo printed on an axe before? Just head back and just look at how big this car is. Massive! Now in here, look, instead of having like a little parking brake, you just smash that in. It's very industrial. Look how massive this screen is here. And this actually folds away. It is not happening today for us, but it does happen. Look, there are buttons here to actually control this TV. It will fold into the front. Look at this side, guys. Look, this seat folds into a bed, and then in the back, you actually pull this up. It reveals your headspace, and this is a light that you can switch around uh, while you're lying down. The same on this side, and you've got all of these little compartments here. You know, that do stuff. Look at this. The glass of the door actually comes all the way down here. Look how the glass folds on top of the door panel and then comes together when you close the door like that. What do you think? Look at this, guys. How epic is this? So this is all water vapor because this car right here runs purely on hydrogen. Now this is called the Hyperion XP1. Now for better aerodynamics, this actually moves. Wow, check that out. How cool is that? So as you go around corners, these will move independently. You see this one's down and this one's up. Look at that, so freaking cool. When have you ever seen this before? Now this is traditionally where you would have the engine, right? But it does not have one because this is hydrogen powered. So instead, this is where all of the little water vapor is collected. And then it shoots through the back here. All right, now watch this, guys. What? <laughs> Just look how crazy this car is, you guys. Holy moly. All right, I've got a fob. Look, we all love this stuff. All right, jump in. All right, so you got this little cutoff steering wheel here. Right, we're gonna put this in here. Watch.
call us back. Awesome.